Hi, Mary R. Thelma. Good to see you guys. Yes. I was the one watching at 4 p.m., says Mary R. I got excited thinking we were starting early. <laughs> you get all the bargains. <laughs> yeah, we weren't supposed to be on. Um, Hubby here got a little confused about the start time. I got up and came out early, and I thought, you know, where did all my time go, man? I should have had an extra hour here. But Bryce is telling me it's time to go on till I ask him what time it was. And it was just now four o'clock. <laughs> we weren't supposed to be on till five. <laughs> anyway, well, he's excited, I guess, for all the wonderful new things I have today, too. He must be because he's moving me right along. <laughs> okay. Um, you know what? You guys are the ones that are the most timely. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. And you guys are going to find out. Hi, Diane. You guys are going to find out about some of the best stuff first. Let me show you this. I'm really excited about this. I needed something like this. This is from Nouveau. These are stackable and they're made. <laughs> They're made for Nouveau drops. It has a magnetic lid that holds the lid in place. Nice. See how? Can you hear that pop in place? So beautiful. And um, I love that. And uh, this is made for Nouveau drops. It will handle any of the size, both these and the grands in Nouveau drops and all the different styles of Nouveau drops, which is wonderful. But I tell you what I think it's even better for. Hello, Betty McSorley. Hello, Sharma. Is you can put all of your little bottles in here, like my glue bottles. I often, you know, when I start getting down in my glue, I want my glue bottles upside down. So... I can access every little bit of glue that's left in there. You can put your pearls and stuff, your little pearl bottles in there. They fit. It's just the neatest little device. Does your best and, glue ever bottle fit? I don't know. It won't fit because, I mean, it would fit if I weren't putting the lid on, but I want to put the lid back on, so probably not. But all your little bottles. Stickles fit very nicely in here. Not no, I'm not sure that these little pearl bottles necessarily need to be upside down, you know, because that doesn't really make an awful lot of difference with these powders. But the glues and the pearls stickle. Well, I didn't try stickles. I should try stickles. I used to usually have a bottle here, but I don't see one right this minute. I think stickles would work. I don't know. The little bottles might be too small. But I thought it was really kind of an ingenious device when I saw it. And I picked up a few of them. But this is $14.99. It's from Tonic Studios. And like I said, if you're, if you, like me, have a collection of bottles that exceeds the available, you know, slots in here, and I think this takes 15 Let's see, three, six, seven, yeah. This will take 15 bottles. If, like me, your collection's going to exceed that, I believe these are also stackable, which is pretty cool. So anyway, I thought that was a neat little neat little device, and I thought I'd share that with you. I have a question for Mary R. Hello, Mary R. Debbie, did you get my daffodils in your new shipment? Well, there's a story in and of itself, and it's almost like you, it's almost like you um, read in my mind about where we're going from here. I want to talk about some hunky-dory items that we almost didn't get. <laughs> we had orders in. I had six trade bundle orders in for the new butterfly blue from hunky dory and the entire luxury collection and of course all the little three piece packs and everything in the collection hello hello guys come on in 
Um, we got canceled on our order. Adam called, or, uh, tech, uh, emailed me himself, the president of Hunky Dory, and said, I am so sorry, but I'm canceling your trade bundles for Butterfly Blue. It's just too popular. Well, that's not why you want to hear that something's canceled. It's selling too well, and I can't ship you what you ordered. Um, you know that the um, that Hunky Dory only produces a limited run of each thing, and then they retire it, and they move on to the next thing, and they've got constantly got stuff coming into the flow all the time. Well. And they had planned, Hunky Dory had planned a great big blowout promotion from Hunky Dory on Butterfly Blue. But then they started getting their trade orders in, Create and Craft gets to go first. And they sold out on the air. And then a bunch of the other wholesalers from UK jumped in and bought theirs. And um, in the meantime, like I said, um, Hunky Dory had planned this big old promotion, this big old blowout promotion they were doing themselves. And they said that they sold, they pre sold so many that they couldn't fill all of their orders and honor this big old promotion that they'd already spent a whole bunch of money in producing for Hunky Dory. So they had to cancel a bunch of their trade orders, and guess what? We were one of those. So we didn't get our Butterfly Blue order. So you're saying, well, what is that you have in front of you? I actually bought these from UK. I had a coupon code, a pretty good coupon code for another merchant. I saw they had a handful of Butterfly Blue on their shelf. It was near my trade price. I bought them and brought them in so that I could get you just anything in Butterfly Blue. Now I'm telling you, I have like six of each of these guys out there. That's it. I'll show it to you. Then we're moving on. These will sell out today. If you want it, you may even want to bop over and get it because it's going to be gone and I can't get any more. I bought these retail with a coupon. <laughs> just so I could bring them to you. This is the 8x8 pad. There's only two items I have out of the collection, the 8x8 pad and the um, and the foiled cardstock. So these are the only two pieces I have in the collection. You can see that this book actually, this 8x8 pad has wonderful potential. This is printed on 150 GSM, so it's not heavyweight paper. It is double-sided paper, so the blues, of course, correspond wonderfully. And if you want one of these, grab it right now. <laughs> I am going to get to your actual question about the daffodils too. So, butterfly blue eight by eight, butterfly blue luxury foiled card. You get four per style. You can see why it jumped off the shelf everywhere. I think I have like six of them. If you want it, grab it. I said this one, they, it's not jumping right out, but the little tiny blue butterflies are. So if you got to have it, go get it right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I thought, well, that's not ideal, you know, to have a beautiful, popular, wonderful selling collection that we didn't get. But 
I get it, you know, stuff happens to everybody, a little misplanning on their part. I can forgive them for that. So we're not getting that collection, okay. So then I wait and we go through our, we go through our order and I should have had six trade bundles of the Forever Floral Spring Melody. Note, daffodils. The Forever Floral Spring Melody collection. I should have had six trade bundles of this. They sent me six luxury kits and six inserts, and they missed my trade bundles altogether. That's like a 600 pound error, 600 pound as in, grab it right now, Mary R. There are five of each, five of each. <laughs> they missed my trade bundles altogether. And in the meantime, between the time that they shipped my order and I discovered their error, they sold out of Spring Melody or this, yeah, the Spring Melody, Forever Floral Spring Melody. What I got in my boxes is all we're going to get. There's five of each out there. If you have to have it, go get it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Right now, I am not trying to, I'm not doing this on purpose. I am not um, trying to, you know, create undue anxiety for you. It's just the way it worked out on these spring collections. So two of them, I have, I have the inserts, I have the spring melody luxury set. If you have to have it, get it right now. Okay, <laughs> I only have a few of these, but I will say this is in my next order and I have more of these coming. This is a wonderful new pattern pack of Adorable Scorable. By the way, if you buy those items right now and before midnight tonight, your Hunky Dory sale coupon's still good. Um, here is this new pattern pack. This is called Abstract Ombres. Here's one of the colors. Here's another of the colors. I love this stuff. There are some colors in here that just sing to me. Love it. I don't believe the glue guns are sold out. I will get more of the glue guns if we are sold out. There you are. Abstract ombres, love these. I just think they're beautiful. Interesting, fun, and different colors. And that's probably my favorite one right here. Look at that. That's just like a pre-made background already. Love it. Love it. Love it. Abstract ombres. I have a limited supply of this right now, but I do have more of this on order. So I'm not giving you the I oh, know signal on this than I am on the others because the others, they're just hitting any more to be had anywhere. I went in to look at the at the spring melody last night on Hunky Dory and thought, well, maybe they can't honor the whole trade bundle, but maybe I can get a few of the component pieces. Nope. Every single popper set is sold out in the spring melody. Couldn't believe it. Hey, hi. Hello, Loretta. Nice to see you. Welcome, welcome. Love to have new crafty friends join us so that's our hunky dory story now um this is all i have from hunky dory this week because it, well i do still have i did i still didn't get them all in because i was working all night and i still didn't get all these love of stamps in. so i still have a few stamps to list 
other than the last pallet is in the system. But I do have, oh, you, somebody asked me about the animal kingdom. The animal kingdom is on the dock. It's pulled. It's in my name. It's sitting on the dock. And yes, I have a very large order for animal kingdom coming. It is absolutely spectacular. Uh, Mary, I'll, I'll get some more of those put into my next notions order. They should get here in just a few days. So I will, um, I'll get those on and I should have those for you next week. By, um, what's new Wednesday, hopefully. Okay, let's talk about restock things. I'm really, 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 really excited to talk to you about mirror board today from craft perfect i know we've talked a lot about mirror board and i've said they're retiring a lot of their styles and they are i keep going in and I keep looking at craft perfect and it says sold out you know and what they say when they're when they're sold out and not expected to be back is they'll say sold out future deliveries unknown and that every item just about uh-oh. I will fix that, Brenda. Thank you. I need to fix the description for the waterfall cards. I will take a look at that. Sorry about that. I'll get it fixed, Brenda. Thanks for pointing that out to me. Um, all of those, all of the, um, uh, the mirror card virtually have that indication now. And everything in that category is virtually sold out. But I've been buying so much of that for so long. You know, I put that um, that card perfect mirror board in just about every order from Notions. Uh, just about every order. So when they couldn't fill all of it, a whole bunch of it went into back orders. And it looks like they must have gotten the bits and pieces order in from um, Nouveau or from um, Tonic Studios. They went through and they filled a bunch of my back orders with um, Craft Perfect cardstock. And so I have restock on things I did not think we'd see again. So we're going to go through those in a minute. This is one of the ones that has been out of stock. These are super popular on Amazon. If you want to um, get one of these, grab it. I grab it quick. I know that seems to be the theme of the day. I got about, I got six of each of these. This is the mixed card pack for, that's pearl shades, and it's all really light shades of pearl. It's beautiful. Six by six pearl pack, and I've got six of those in. And this is the six by six mirror sheets in silver. And it's a, a variety of different patterns. Let's see if I can get to the other side. I'm trying to get to the right side. No, go to this side. Okay. Where do I go? There. Right there. There I go. Okay. And I'll turn it so you can see it. There we go. There's the patterns in that mirror card. There we go. So we got these packs in. These are $7.99, I believe, and they've got um, 24 sheets of different foiled papers. And this other one's 24 sheets of different shades of pearl papers, all in light colors, like um, sandy down to just creamy colors. It's beautiful. So Craft Perfect Mirror, I'm just going to fly through these. Because most of them are not new, but they are restocked, and we haven't had some of them for a while. Black is back. $3.49, you get five sheets of mirror board. That's a good deal. We have holographic waves, which is a whole lot like. Um, these are 8.5 by 11, by the way, not A4 that we're used to. But you get five sheets of holographic. It's basically Rainbow Mary, but they call it hollow waves. I do think the reflective pattern is just a little bit different on this. But um, get five sheets, three forty-nine. All of these are three forty-nine. This one, I would love this one, and this one is called Blue, a Blue Obsidian Blue. It's a little tiny lettering. Blue Obsidian, I believe. 
and it's kind of one of their um, satin, more satiny tones, but it's really pretty in blue. Three forty nine. Look at we haven't had this for weeks and weeks and weeks. This is the petal pink. It's the iridescent one. So yay us. I'm glad that's back. Can you arrow down, please? We got seafoam green. We just used these in the frogs, and everybody was so impressed with the seafoam green. This is one of those iridescent shades. I don't know how long it will last. So just so you know, poly green. I think I still had this one in the store, but I restocked it. Oh, there's another one of the holographic waves. <laughs> this is a slightly different green. This one's called flourishing green. I had a few packs of this last week, and we sold out on those after I showed them to you. So this is one of those more satiny tones, too. You know what's one thing that's really nice with the satiny tones? They don't show your fingerprints quite as much. You still get the glitz uh, foil paper, but they don't show your fingerprints quite as much. If that matters to you, that's pretty cool. But it doesn't look. Did I do soft? No, I didn't do soft amethyst yet, did I? No. This is actually a new color. Um, I had had an order in for it, obviously. And it sold out before I got it. But this is one of those satiny tones. Soft amethyst. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Here's another one that's actually a new color that I had an order in for. And it just came through. was a burnished rose. It's like a rose gold. But it's that satiny finish. We have rose platinum. These go marvelously together, by the way. These are fun to use together, even. Rose Platinum. Purple Rain. I didn't think we'd see this one again. Purple Rain. Chrome Silver. It's like our silver mirror board, but this is even more reflective than our normal silver mirror board. See, you can see our camera equipment all sitting over there. <laughs> you can see my TV that I use that I'm reading your comments on when I'm kind of looking a little off to the side. That's because I'm reading your comments <laughs> on that TV. So, and we have one of my all time faves. I put this in kits a lot, electric purple. So I didn't think we'd get that much mirror board in. I'm going to keep trying as long as they'll keep sending it to me. I'll keep ordering it, guys, and we'll get it for as long as we can. Let's see what else is in this stack. They're back. One of my absolute favorite scissors is Cutter B. This is never far from me when I'm crafting. I love my Cutter B scissors. They are super sharp. Super duper sharp. They are sharp enough that they give you a blade guard because I don't know if you can see the tips of those, but that has like a micro tip on the end of it. You can jab yourself in a mighty way with those scissors. So keep that capped when it's not in use and use with care. But this is a mighty fine pair of scissors. Really, 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 really good. Um, it's one of my, I, ha, I have three pairs of scissors I use all the time. I've got my cheap scissors, which is what I use, my cheap long blades, my scotch scissors that I use all the time. Every single time I'm paper crafting, I'm using these. I resharpen them with my, um, with my sharpener, which is also never far from me. <laughs> my little Visker scissor sharpener, they're white now, but same, same. I use these over and over and over and over and over every day. I love these. I love these scissors. This is like my go-to detail scissors. But then I also have my extra little tiny, teeny tiny scissors that I have from Hobby Journal, like my $3 scissors that I love when I'm doing um, fussy cutting. So... None of my ex none of my scissors are expensive. Five dollars. These are eleven. My hobby journals are like three. <laughs> Those are my go-to scissors. I love them. Love them. Love them. Love them. Love them. 
So we have a dozen pairs of these back in the store. Grab yours while you can get them. Uh, but they're kind of an ongoing thing, but they really are a fabulous scissor. You guys have said to me, bring us slimline dies. I found a set of dies. I thought it was really cool that they had both the slim, really pretty ornate backgrounds for slimline cards. And then they also had backers for those. And they also have a circle die with a circle backer. So layering dies in there as well. In this one, you get three, six, eight, ten dies in total. And it's called the um, Slimline Card Builder Die Set. It's very reasonably priced and it's available. I am, you know, I'm not actively buying Christmas this time of year because I'm kind of in a little lull between Christmas season itself and um, Christmas, in Christmas in July hasn't quite started yet. But when I see certain things, I just have to get them. <laughs> sometimes have you just to, have huh? to get them. Have yeah, to. Margie's back. She says, sometimes you just have to. Sometimes you just have to. Hello, Catherine from France. Nice to have you with us. Um, here is a floral die set that's beautiful made up. Be sure you look at the um, card samples that I posted in some of these listings. This is um, this is Corrine's signature, but it's actually manufactured by Tattered Lace, so you get that same Tattered Lace quality. We have a stamp set and a die set in this one, and I think these are beautiful. Look at the card samples that go with the with this collection, guys. They're really, really pretty. Um, here's a stamp set. This one just has really fun, just useful stamps. We've got some little snowflakes. We've got a corner poinsettia die. Or excuse me, this is not a die. This is a stamp set. We've got snowflakes in different sizes. We have some little holly pieces. I like these little individual words to you and yours, love on each wishing of very a wishing happiness because those go well with these dies. The stamp and die set go really nicely together because you can use the larger word and then the smaller stamps to accent that. You've seen that a lot on things. Well, we have one of those sets. I love the piece. The Merry Christmas and the Joy are all beautiful. They are bigger words. I will give you a little hint. Some of these bigger words we're going to use on our um, Jamie Rogers cards with our spritzed background. They look really, really pretty sometimes. Not to do an awful lot on the card. Use a big word to accent on a colorful background and let the colors speak for themselves. So some of these bigger words you're going to be seeing in some of those projects that come up. Here is a set of card dies. It's also part of that same line. This entire selection of Christmas stuff I'm going to show you is all the same line. This one has um, has aperture dies. This would be an aperture die, right? But then they also have a cutting border for one side so that you can actually create your card border on that side of the card and that you can actually cut that design off your flap. But these are really pretty, three separate designs. Look at those card samples that I posted with these because they're really pretty. I was going to try and print some of them, and then my computer wouldn't cooperate in time to get it done for our broadcast today. Love this one. This this one right here is my favorite. I love that with the triple circles. These are really popular this year. The, the multiple line squares, rectangles, circles, these are really popular this year. And for good reason, they really look beautiful. So three more of those <clears throat> of those card designs. These are all considered frames. And you got lots of nice little pieces to use here too. Look at the card designs again. This is my favorite out of the set. <laughs> My absolute favorite. I think I said the last one was a favorite, but this is my absolute favorite. These, uh, this is layering scenery, why. winter scene. Yeah, it's got a deer, deer on, on it. it. 
but it also has layerable scenery layers and then an aperture die to cut a beautiful dome and then all those layering scenes this would be just beautiful gorgeous 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 they're from tattered lace they don't carry the traditional tattered lace price tag although they're not cheap either this one i think is i'm thinking it might be 49 but for the size of the dies you get and the number of them for tattered lace quality that's not a bad price all right next up another new tattered lace collection and this again is a huge collection on the same theme let's talk about i saw these and i managed to resist them and i saw them again and i just couldn't resist them i went in and got them they're so cute this is this collection is called pinewood party and it's all these animals out in the woods doing things we don't know the animals are doing out in the woods they're so darn cute look at the pictures for these collections guys they're so cute they're so cute this is ruby rabbit ruby rabbit it has her herself in a shadow then we have this beautiful um floral background it's got one of those so we can cut the um we can cut the card shape off of either side so we can either combine these and cut out a backer for this wreath or we can use these two pieces and we can cut either side as a as a card flap we've got a full backer die for that and then we've got decoupage layering pieces for her wreath as well so you got the bunny and then and then her wreath oh it's so cute but that's not all <laughs> we got hetty hedgehog here we got hetty hetty the hedgehog hetty has now these backgrounds guys this is a viney wreath this time but these backgrounds can be used obviously for so many things besides with the little animals the animals are cute and they're sized to fit inside the wreaths but you're certainly not limited to making just the wreaths with the hedgehogs and you can use that wreath for so many different things all right and next we got we've got uh freddy fox did i do freddy fox no nope. i did ruby rabbit this is freddy fox freddy fox has a floral vine wreath and flat layering flowers decoupage flowers we've, we've got freddy we've got his shadow we've got a shadow for the for the vine wreath beautiful and <laughs> me we talked Denny. about all the things that the animals are doing when we don't know they're doing it look at this we've got these animals on parade playing their musical instruments <laughs> we got the bunny we got the let's see we have a little bunny we have a bigger i think it's bunny maybe that's the fox i think that's freddy fox there then we have the bear and another bunny riding the bear's back and they're all playing music and we have little a separate little die for their musical notes up here everybody has a shadow also are the cutter bees sharp enough to perform surgery ruth ann wants to know <laughs> um you know i've performed unintentional surgery on myself numerous times <laughs> it's one of the reasons i have to keep band-aids in my craft room <laughs> Okay, here we have Hetty Hedgehog and the fox, Freddy Fox, having tea together with little butterflies flitting around. So very cute. Oh my gosh, they're cute. <laughs> okay, here are a group of bunnies making a daisy chain. Check out the images for these guys. They're so cute. Hold it this way. Thank you. There we go. Here we have Freddy Fox riding a unicycle together with a bunny in the basket who seems to be totally into the adventure of it all. 
<laughs> Countryside Adventure. Oh, you know what, Mary R? It didn't come in yet. I thought we were, we, uh, uh, but it's funny. That's what you said. I'll be watching for me. It hadn't come in yet. I, the package I thought it was, that wasn't what it was. So we'll look. You know, the, um, um, the post office, you know, it's just the post office is crazy right now. I won't get on a soapbox, but holy cow. This is called the Daisy River, and these guys have their little teacup boats and walnut shells and things, and they're all chained together, riding down the river of life. <laughs> And once again, we got musical instruments and musical notes. What's the depth of the flower mold? I'll measure it for you in just a minute. I know it won't fit. Oops, I'm sorry. Stop. I know it won't fit my Gemini, but I could be convinced to purchase a new hand crank if it would work. Um, yeah, I'll measure it for you here momentarily, Ruthann. Okay, we've got Bunny in, in an umbrella. These guys are paddling along. We have two bunnies in an umbrella paddling away. <laughs> so cute. This is a little aperture leaf, and it makes a little skeletal leaf. It's really pretty. This would be wonderful for a lot of things. This this is a huge collection. <laughs> this one's called Shake and Share. This one has a little, I can't tell if he's a badger or a raccoon from the die, but two bunnies and a and another character who may be a badger or a raccoon sharing a milkshake. <laughs> it's five eighths. The um, flower mold is five eighths deep. And you just don't use your pen and sword. And yeah, you alter the you alter your sandwich to um, you alter your sandwich to make it work it. with different cutting machines. And on the um, Heartfelt Creations website, she has sandwich suggestions for different kinds of machines. So be sure and check that out and see if the Gemini is supported in there. This one says one too many. We have a bunny and a mouse sharing a drink out of a mason jar. Whoops. Sharing a, a drink out of a mason jar. And the description to this one says they think maybe they've had, from their expressions, maybe they've had one too many. <laughs> These accent dies are so cute when used together with the other characters in this set. Party accessories. So cute. You can put the little party hats on your critters. You can put the little lights in the sky. You can use the little viney stuff. Here we have bunnies blowing bubbles. We have one bunny blowing bubbles. We have another one with a net trying to catch all the bubbles. And we have a bridge. And then we have the bubbles themselves, the cutout. I don't know why I just thought of this, but wouldn't that wouldn't the bubbles be fun with that iridescent paper, like that super holographic paper? That'd be fun. And this is time for tea. We have a bunny serving tea through the window in her tree. So darn cute. Oh, Margie says, I gotta see that. <laughs> Margie loves tea stuff. We had another one in there, Margie, of two yes, having tea. It's already in my cart. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I said the other one's already in her heart. It cost me money, Debbie. It cost this me is money. called the Pinewood Party um, uh, US, or USB. This has all the imagery to support many, many of these cutting dies, as well as backgrounds and things to position all these characters. Um, this is supposed to sell for twenty nine ninety five. They actually have no new storable elements and stuff on here now, where you can alter these imagery and save them back to the USB port. Um, this is supposed to sell for twenty nine ninety five. 
if you buy several of these, I could probably be convinced to toss this in for as long as they last. So um, that's our tattered lace. Wowzer. I've been busy, guys. I've been a listing fool. All right. Okay. I have several. You guys are really liking when I'm buying these back issues of the magazine. So I keep bringing them in. As long as you buy them, I bring them in for you. Here is, I have several back orders of Die Cutting Essentials magazine. Now, one of the things I love about these back issues is that the, the gifts, <laughs> they call them gifts. We all know they're built into the price, but the gifts in some of these are way more expensive than what you would pay for the magazine. <laughs> you know, the, the dies are just fabulous in some of these. This is Die Cutting Essentials, and I love this. This one had this panel of sunflowers, and it can either be an aperture die and cut your design right out of your card, or you can cut out an actual panel and post it to your cards. They also have all kinds of neat suggestions in here for cutting your flowers apart and things and then using those sunflowers separately. It's full of suggestions for using your cutting dice as well as lots of other fun tips. If you, like me, just like to peruse these magazines for fun ideas and suggestions, these can be a really good deal. And these are so affordable. What do I, well. Um, $13.99, I believe. Is it? I think so. I've just yeah, I think some of them. these are as are as low as nine something. This one might be a little bit more, but die cutting essentials. There's the yeah. first one of those. That one's thirteen ninety nine. That one was thirteen ninety nine. But you know, as you're sitting there, that you're going to pay more than that for that sunflower die alone. That, this one, by the way, the tattered lace with the deer on it is thirty nine ninety five, not forty nine. Oh. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay, Margie just corrected me. I told you that the the um, tattered lace layerable set with the deer was forty nine ninety five. It's thirty nine ninety five. So there we go. Um, this one is really really pretty. This has fuchsias. It has a big. It's well. I'm gonna cut the package. You guys usually forgive me if you get this magazine and it's been opened. Just know that your friends really appreciate your sacrifice in letting me show them the cutting <laughs> die. I'll tape it back and try and make it look presentable, but sometimes you just got to show things. Look at this fuchsia die. This is gorgeous. Look at that thing. That is a big, deluxe, beautiful die that you can car to edge or you can. Look at the, the sample that they've done down here, where they've used that on the on the gatefold card. Isn't that a spectacular die? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then you get the magazine, and often there's papers or downloads in the magazine. So there's all kinds of fun stuff, and they'll have suggestions for actually using this die. So you've got some beautiful pattern ideas already in the magazine. So fun, 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 lovely. Yes, lovely die indeed, Mary R. And I don't know, can you see how much this one is, Margie? Well, that's what I was looking for and I'm not seeing that one. Huh. But it could be that I'm just not looking for the right thing. There, they sh these, all of these should be in the crafting magazines folder. Oops, this one. Oh, I love this one. <laughs> I got to get this question. one out too, huh? I have the MIDI and the MIDI. I love it. Is Charisma available for these? Um, I don't know the answer to that. I'm sorry. Um, these are not tattered lace. So I'm not certain if these have pre-printed designs available or not. They usually don't. It's yeah, usually the other brands don't always necessarily do that. Tattered Lace almost always does, but 
This is a spectacular swag with four corner pieces or layering pieces available. You can make a beautiful wreath out of it. You can cut the elements apart and use them separately or use it as a big, gorgeous, beautiful swag. I love this one too. Here's a couple more ideas on the back of the package. Beautiful. So these are very, very reasonably priced. Remember when you're looking at these, though, don't get all caught up in the advertising. It says we're going to give you $500 worth of stuff in this contest or that one. The contests are going to be expired on these guys. Uh, this, this one's one actually can... called Lilies, not Fuchsias. That's oh, it's called Lilies. It. Yeah, and it's $13.99. $13.99 on that one with the, I was calling Fuchsias, they called it Lilies. Look like Fuchsias to me, but there we go. <laughs> That's what I know. <laughs> and they give you, I like, I like the die cutting ones because they give you three or four different ways that you can use them from different artists in the magazine. Yeah. I like that. Um, Catherine, getting things to you in France, you, you and I need to have a conversation on email about that. Um, we can send things to France, but it's very, very, very expensive to send things from the U.S. to France. So it's better if we accumulate a box for you and if we can, um, if we can send everything at one time. Um, just to give you an idea, a one ounce package from the U.S. to the U.K. right now is like 15 or $16. It's obscene, but it's a little more affordable if we can bundle things up and send you a larger accumulation of things in a box. That ends up being a much, much better deal for, for our friends in UK and France it's not that, and Australia. It's not that I don't want to support you. I do want to support you. It's just that the U.S. Postal Service has made it very difficult to, for us to make it affordable to send things to you overseas. So let's talk about boxes and pricing, and then you can decide if that's something you want to do. One of the things we do for our Canadian friends is we'll start a box and you can keep adding to it. We'll tell you when it's filled and then we'll send it to you and then we'll start a new box. <laughs> so, you know, we'll work with you, but it, that's why you don't see me doing a lot with international shipping. It's just ridiculously priced. This one is a fun die, guys. This is a honeycomb on one side you get two panel dies with this one you get flowers and you get the honeycomb and then i believe does it have a bee it's uh i guess it doesn't have a bee in this one i thought it did but maybe it doesn't but anyway we get the flowers and we get the honeycomb both really fun it must have the bee because they've got it in lots of places they do but it doesn't. Is it a stamp? It's not, maybe and maybe it's a stamp. I'm not sure. Be happy. Okay, now I'm gonna have to open it. <laughs> All right. Any excuse. Any excuse. Brace says any excuse to open it. Okay. No. 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 Has no bee. Pictures all over. But the bee, maybe. Maybe there's something else in the package I'm not seeing. There's the dies. And here's your fun card ideas. And I don't see a, D, a B. But this is one thing that's really nice. If you ever have challenges with your die cutting, these die cutting machines have all kinds of really great tips in improving your die cutting if you're having any challenges with that. So really fun and just full of nice ideas in here for using those and other dies. Of course, they'd be happy to help you find other dies as well because, you know, we're all good like that. Those, people, those of us in the merchandising trades are great about helping you find things you need. How Margie. I don't know what you're talking about. 
they they begin to call me the temptress. I love it. <laughs> this one's called. It's from Crafter's Companion. This die set, and this one's called Shaken Not Stirred. And there we go. There's the mixed drink glass. And okay, moving over to I got you so many magazines this time is great. Okay, this one has a this one's called Gorge. Um, it's Papercraft Essentials magazine. And isn't this how much is this one? Yeah. So all the ones that you've sh shown so far are thirteen ninety nine, and the one that you're opening right now is nine ninety nine. This one's nine ninety nine, guys. It comes with a two hundred and thirty four piece card kit. This one's called the card kit, and this one is called Gorgeous Gardens, and it's got all kinds of layering pieces in the card kit. So nine ninety nine, and it comes with a fun card kit already in it. That's Paper Crafting Essentials Magazine, $9.99. I love this one. I just got to say, I love this one. I thought I had this one before, but I didn't see it when I listed these. So maybe I didn't. Maybe I just seen it a few times and been tempted by it and then reached that point. I couldn't resist it anymore. That happens to me, you know. Look at this one, the Luxury Bird Collection. Wow. This is a, the Luxury Bird Collection. It's like a winter birds collection. Really, really beautiful foiled and die cut toppers. And other elements. It says it has 94 elements inside 79 foil toppers and papers to make quick and easy cards beautiful and of course the magazine will have card ideas for you too are you selling the hunky dory box kit you showed last week or are you saving it for potential class kits we're starting that as a class kit this week we're doing bows. Did you guys see the outline of the in the in the newsletter? If not, I'll run through that in a minute with you. I started looking at the days until Mother's Day, and I decided I needed to make some shifts in our schedule to make sure we got everything done before Mother's Day. Okay. The wrap and review. Why did I just open this? Because I already had this one. Oh well. Sorry. <laughs> this has this really, really, really cool um, embossing folder with a cutting die. Really cool. And it's got the wrap and reveal cards in it. Paper I Craft Essentials mine. Magazine. I Let's... opened mine and you looked at it. I don't think. Oh, have. okay. Yeah. Okay, good. So really cool. Um, you get a card kit and that. And that embossing folder. And what does this one run? This nine ninety nine too. I believe thirteen, but I will double check. They say it's got thirty two pounds worth of stuff in it, based on what I see in that kit. I believe that's true. Okay. And for my stampers out there, I have eleven sixty nine. Eleven sixty nine for that one. That's got both that great big embossing folder and the um and the um, the wrap and reveal. The wrap and reveal card kit, both in it. Okay, you got to see this. This is really cool. I one of the things I love about um, the Creative Stamping magazine <laughs> is that they give us these gigantic A4 stamp sets. This stamp set alone, I'm telling you guys, this stamp set alone would be $20, $25 U.S. price just by itself for one stamp set. And this has so many spectacular floral elements in it, and they're just beautifully detailed. This is actually designed by John Nextdoor who did the fall kit that we did with the sunflowers and the dyes and stuff. Everybody loved that. This, These are designed by John Nextdoor, beautifully detailed flowers, pine cones, swags. It's gorgeous. 
$13.99 for this one. And it includes a die as well as the as well as the A4 stamp set. The only bad news is I only brought in a few of each of them in order to give you the selection that I give you. I either have to go, I have to buy a lot of them and do a kit, or I have to limit the number of them that I buy of a specific, you know, of a specific design. And so let's see, card that folds back. Uh, when will the new classes kits be available? As soon as I get them done, I'm going to work on them tonight. <laughs> One of the challenges of our world as we have it right now is that because Brittany and Margie are both working in fulfilling orders in the store, uh, Brittany doesn't have time to list. So I have to, you know, I'm creating all these kits and designs and then I have to stop and I. I have to um, list all the stuff and get ready for <laughs> what's due Wednesday. Okay, here's a treat, guys. Check this out. This is the brand new issue, just out issue. I used that coupon I told you about. <laughs> and I got some of the just out um, garden gnomes sets from um, Creative Stamping. We got an A4 stamp set of gardening, complete with a garden gnome. We have the magazine that features all of these lovely little critters in a variety of different scenes. Now, they, there aren't numerous gnomes. I think there's just one gnome, but there's wonderful, wonderful um, garden elements to set with him so it's not immediately apparent you're just getting one gnome you get really really nice we don't have that one i think we should have ah, if you're looking for this don't find it let me know i'll send you a link i listed it what what's the number on it uh, this is issue 94. This also comes with a paper pack of double-sided papers for your garden gnome. Really pretty. So um, Creative Stamping Magazine, complete with garden gnome stamps and a paper pack. And I think it's like thirteen dollars, not <laughs> thirteen something. That's amazing, and that's a brand new out. I mean, <laughs> the contests and stuff of this one are still going because it's brand new publication. Okay, now the garden gnome is done by Daisy May. In case you follow certain designers, so. Boy, I think that's what I have for you in What's New Wednesday. However, we need to talk about Brit's Bargain. We need to talk about a new segment. And we have a guest feature. <laughs> so, Brit's Bargain. Here you go, guys. Brit's Bargain. Um, the Hunky Dory sale code ends at midnight tonight. That's going to become relevant because you have an opportunity for a stacked discount here. <laughs> Mar We're going to start a new segment today called Margie Makes. And we may not do it every week, but every week that Margie has a project for us and Margie Makes, you're going to have a special discount available on that line. This week, Margie's doing Peony Promise, and we're doing 12% off Peony Promise in honor of Margie Makes. Between now and midnight, anything that you get in Peony Promise, you can stack that discount. You can do a Margie, you can get the Margie's Make at 12% off, and then you can put your Hunky Dory code, sale, your Hunky Dory sale code on top of that. And you get the 
12 first and then an additional 10% off. It's not, it's not going it, to, mathematically, it doesn't work up to 22%. It's like 20, 20 and a half, maybe, percent off of Peony Promise by stacking those discounts, but just until midnight, because that's when the Hunky Dory sale code expires. So know that. Margie's going to join us for Margie Makes. And um, I want to let you know that Ritz Bargain is also really, 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 really cool. I was going to have them bring up some of these um, sliders and buttons, and I forgot. I'll put some pictures of some of them in the newsletter for you, though, so you can see. And go out to the newsletter and actually check those out. What we have in this week's Ritz Bargain is half off select ribbon sliders with rhinestones. <laughs> this is really, really a good deal, guys. The ribbon slides that we've played with in class were the acrylic ones. These are the metal ribbon slides that have rhinestones. They're so pretty. And we also have some of our specialty buttons. Now you're saying buttons. Why would I want buttons? Because these are the buttons that have pearls and things in them that make absolutely spectacularly wonderful wedding cards. And when you just need to step it up and make something extra fancy, these buttons are to die for. They're half off this week only. And Brett Sparkin, come on in Margie. Margie's gonna come and take over here and show you her Margie's Make projects. And I'm going to make room Oops. Can you answer Walker Michelle's question? To get in. Michelle, did you get the Hobby Dot shiny details? I'm sure I did. I haven't been through the boxes yet. I do apologize, Michelle. I just haven't had enough hours in every day to crack open those um those boxes from um Find It Trading yet. But there's a huge stack of them right behind me. In fact, you see new sheets appearing behind me all the time. This all this stuff back here, these stacks are all like the trading boxes of those new stamp platforms. I promise I'll get to them as soon as I can, okay? And Thursday's class, just before I get out of here, because Margie will actually sign off with you. Thursday, we're doing, we're going to try it again, guys. We're going to try the, the frog pond again, or the um, trout pond again. Here's our trout pond stamp. Here's our stamp when we add background. And we're doing trout tomorrow. So we will see you tomorrow for that. I'm going to move, let Margie take over here. And you can just sign them off when you're done, Margie. Ouch. You get to say good night, Gracie, when the time comes. Okay. <laughs> it's work on remembering. <laughs> okay. Are you sure you don't want your seat? I'm going to just trade your chairs here. I'm going to take yours. Okay. Hi, guys. So, those of you, I don't know how much it was. Um, it was right about the time that Brittany was starting to do What's New Wednesdays. Um, that I wasn't filming her down in the workshop anymore. Um, and so I'm not sure if we broke this one specifically open or not, but this is the luxury kit. Woo, let me throw some things around. Um, this is the luxury kit, and um, it comes with eight toppers total, and then, of course, your double the cardstock. So what you will get is... Is that four designs? To it each? is four designs. So this is the first one. And oh, Miss Emma it requested that this be the first set that I make. I wonder why. So, Was it cupcakes? It's cupcakes oh. and cake. And the next one that she wants me to do is this one. She said that she loves the heart because she wants to make sure that people know they're loved. Oh, She's such a sweetie. You should tell for those who don't know who Emma is. Oh, Emma is my granddaughter. She is six years old. Um, we have been raising her. Uh, her mom has some disabilities that makes it a little bit harder. So we have had lots of fun, and she's just a blast to be around. 
Um, okay, so this is the next one. It's got hot air balloons and birds. And then it comes with extra things. So this is um, the Peony Promises little book. And I'm going to open this and show you guys because I had no idea that it had as much as I thought that it did in it. So I will sh open that here in just a second. We also have a Peony Promise pad. And we have um, a Peony Promise parchment. However, I did not personally purchase that one. So uh, I don't have that one. And this is the stamp die that goes with it. This is a Peony Promise. Um, it looks like it's really big, but it's amazing how well it comes out. So uh, let me go back and just let you kind of take a peek in here. Um, it comes with lots of different pictures that are the same. Um, there are 48 double-sided patterns, and there are 12 designs. So this one is the bird. Love that, by the way, that's beautiful. I know, it's really pretty. Um, this is some dragonflies with just a spot that would work perfect for putting in a sentiment Absolutely. right there. And if you do the Peony Promise stamp, it will fit right perfect in there. So now I've given away a few ideas that I've already been thinking about. <laughs> um, so this week, I used a little bit of this paper and a little bit of the backing to this paper. On the front, that has the hearts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And since you get four of them, you don't have to be afraid to use those backings because the backings are just as pretty. Um, and then here is some of the perfume. And again, this is a different backing. It kind of looks the same, but it's a little bit smaller, a little bit more filled in pe peony, peony. You never know which way to pronounce that. And then little birdhouses. So it's got lots of cute little ideas. And then here is some cupcakes. And this is the backing paper to that. Don't you think we could use our rose dyes to create some flowers that look an awful lot like the peonies? Wow, look at that. Great idea there, Debbie. <laughs> Steal or thunder. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, it's just fine. Um, so this is a card that I used. Um, I actually have a different um, flower item that is just looks a little bit different. Um, but I, if you had layered it up a little bit more, but these were already pre-made, um, so they don't quite have as much volume. But I think that if you did several layers, um, you can make flowers just as small as this here. Um, and then this one is made with uh, the flower foam. And, uh, and then the leaf is from the, I believe that that is part of the rose one. Might not be. It might be the oak berry. And the the paper or the space you have available there is actually big enough to use one of the larger roses too, if you wanted you to. Could. I know you have a preference for the small ones. Yeah. But I think you could actually use one of the larger roses on the corner there and still be and you ample space. Absolutely, get away with it. In fact, I had. I had thought about doing some up in this corner as well, but I made the decision to kind of offset it with the little um, stickers instead. Um, uh, so this one is using the regular cardstock that came with this portion of the set. Um, it's really pretty. And what I did was, is I found the exact same print in the backing paper. And so I took it and flipped it rather than having it down here at the base um, only, I went and I put it right up here upside down. <laughs> so then that way it kind of mirrors the effect. And these two are my extras that I had left over after I did the rest of my cards. So you kind of go, hmm, how many different pieces can I get out of this? And in this particular case, it was great because I was able to just use these two silver frames and it worked perfect with this little cake. And then on the inside, and this is what I'm talking about for the prom for the Peony Promise little book. It says, I promise to always do whatever I can to make you smile. 
And that's a fun idea to actually use the little book page inside the card as a greeting. That's a yeah. fun idea, Marge. I thought that it would be great to do it that way as well. Um, Debbie, what's the size on this one? Uh, your uh, P R uh, um, a European A six. A six. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Um, so this is a European A six, and um, can you guys hear me? Okay. Yeah, we're using the mics through the system and Oh, the, perfect. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't so sure can it, hear. it just clicked with me that Yeah, we was... can hear we could hear you before, we can perfect. hear Bryce, we can hear us. We're actually using the mic right through the right through the computer and it's working great. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Okay, so this is our DL and um this just came uh, right off. Right there, off the back. So you can go right through and cut out that section for your DL. And then I just added a little organza ribbon. I've used some of the Hunky Dory gemstones through here because um, it has those great colors that just pick up some of the things that they already use. Um, we also have uh, stickers for the corners. And I wanted to show you very specifically because I wanted to make it pop. And I don't know that you guys can see that or not, but um, you can kind of see how the jar sparkles a little bit. Um, it's because I went through and I took a little brush and I used the Nouveau Glimmer um, right on it. Uh, and it doesn't affect the paper at all. It didn't wrinkle it. I didn't apply it heavily, but I did go through and I just wiped it on. And it actually gave it that shimmer and look like it's real glass. I so it was a neat, uh, I had a neat outcome off of it that I was hoping that I would get, but I wasn't positive. And this Nouveau is uh, called Moonstone. I was so excited when Debbie brought it in. I went, oh yeah, I need one of those. <laughs> it just came in, I think, about a month ago. Um, so there is two of the cards. Then the next one is actually an accordion fold from Paper Accents. Um, you, there's, I believe, you get five in the pack, and um, this is the. This is the actual uh, cardstock off of the second piece of paper from the back of this one. I can't really show you because it's in here and I already used mine up. So I don't want to reopen the, the pack because that one belongs to Debbie. Um, anyways, so it I went through and I added uh, my rainbow as my main heavy background. Um, it looks silver at times, but as you can see from the light shining on it, it also gives it that holographic look. Um, and then this is just the picture. And what was neat about the Peony Promise papers is that it comes with things like this inside, where maybe up a little bit higher, where you can cut out different sayings. You can also cut out little things like these beautiful little butterflies. And if you can see, they glisten. And uh, somebody, thank you very much, because um, I didn't know that we had it, um, is somebody this last week purchased this glitter foil this is what happens when i work and pack a store and i do <laughs> cards okay so anyways, i was so excited about it this one happens to be a glitter foil that's clear but there are many other ones in different colors so you can add that onto any paper and make it just really specialized paper the one that makes it cool for this clear is that it goes through and here's my little tag that I that I have and hopefully it will release it for me. Yeah. Um, so you peel back your glitter foil, you lay it on, and it has a nice thick backing to it. So it actually, even though this is just regular thin paper like you would get from regular little book. Um, because of the thickness on the back of this, 
um, it now cuts more like a cardstock. Mm. And I wasn't sure that you could read through it, but I found that if I gave it a good rub in, you can still absolutely, well, not with the light shining on it the way it is, but you can see. I think this one shows up a little bit better. You can see that it says birthday wishes, but it created this glitter across the front. And I took the little butterflies that were also on these little pieces and I cut them out, put them in glitter foil. And, um, excuse me, I put them in glitter foil, then cut them out. And I just put those with little foamies behind it to give a little bit of a three dimensional look. Now, from there, you open it up, and here we have our paper from our paper pack and this is just a really simple happy birthday and then on the back i went and i put on my promise so i promise that your day will be every bit as special as you are so that when you sit there and you have it you get to see this all the way across when you're done so there's very and clever. then it folds up so very nice into a nice neat little card can I interject something here? I've had a couple questions about um, the discount not showing. You have to put them in your shopping cart for this discount to show. It applies to the whole category, Peony Promise, automatically. But you have to put it in your shopping cart to see the discount, guys. RJ, you also have a question on your DL card. Mm -hmm. Are the are they foam flowers on the DL card? On this card? I guess. Oh, on the other one. That was on your, the, the flowers or on card. This yeah, that one. Well, no, I think she's looking at the if, flowers. I think oh. the flowers, um, the flowers that are on the DL card are actually what's printed right on there. You did add a dimension with your sparkles. Yes, by adding that little bit extra, um, it just really makes them look like they're coming off the page. But I can absolutely see why. Uh, but yes, this one is foam and this one is paper. Um, I didn't heat up this foam. Uh, we were working and Debbie said that she didn't heat up the foam. She just worked with it. Um, I did this one without heating up the foam, but I tend to like the heated up foam because it made a totally different look when we were playing with it the other night. So, um, but this is really nice too. Just like that. Okay, let me check some things up there at you. Okay, this is a, it's Paper Mania's um, little scalloped cards. And sometimes I think that for me, at least, I kind of wonder, what am I going to do with that scallop? Is it really going to look nice? How can I make it work the way that I would want it to work? And so the answer is you just use your cardstock backing paper from, again, we just use some of this purple. And um, I put that just barely right along the line. As you can see, it's really close to the line of the scallop. The dent, the indent almost touches. And so it kind of gives it that little frilly, uh, almost eyelet feel to your card. And then from there, I took and I used my main pieces. <laughs> Betty Gossel just called you a temptress too. Oh, great. <laughs> hey, I, I fall for it all the time. Look at all this stuff I bought. <laughs> so, so this is this is this one right here. And I took out the middle silver piece and I wanted that purple to continue to show through. Um, and that's why I didn't have that silver card piece. And so that's what I saved for my little um, my little one with the piece of looks like berry cheesecake. And um, this one, other than adding in a few rhinestones on here, I, I kept it short and sweet. Um, but on the back, I used some extra um, I used some extra cardstock and one of the little wordings from the Peony Promise little book. Um, they all came out of here. Look at these. They're great. Thank you for everything. So, and it says at the front, you're so sweet. So it kind of just blends right in between the two. And now I've got this great stopper in the back. 
back in order to make that work and hold itself up. Debbie asked if it was on purpose. I said yes. Yeah. It seems like every time I make a reverse seesaw, it's because I put my card together wrong. <laughs> uh, but I That's how to... I discovered it. <laughs> um, I had to do it this way just in order for the card to fit the the scallop. It looks great, Otherwise, actually. you'd lose it at the side of the picture, and it wouldn't it be looks quite great. as nice. Um, I love that. that. That's actually a very clever way to um, show your three sides of the scallop and then have your have your straight edge on the bottom. That's yeah. a great idea. So thank you for the compliment. All righty. So this one is its own little unique card. And it stands up like this. And I had him flat just a little bit ago, so he may or may not want to stand up right away there you oh, go the, oh, no. nope nope there's like a feel like it's almost crooked you might have to put a little stand on the back maybe it it stood up at my house so i wonder well, if i just bent around. it with time <laughs> yeah it gets hauled around got stuck in a bin okay so this is actually black card um this is from Crafter's Companion, and it's all different types of shapes of in black. And there's gatefold and centerfold and a square center stip and a diorama and an easel. And a square set. Um, there was one more. I think that this one is considered to be the diorama one. And uh, I know that there was a little bit of playing around with uh, some in the Hortensia. We had the little cosmic shimmer opals, mm -hmm. right? So opal blaze, yeah. Um, and so what I did was is that um, I made a mess, and I haven't even had a chance to clean it up yet. Off of my goodie. Anyways, this looks white, and it is called lilac pearl opal polish and because of the white and because it gives the name as lilac it tells me and I don't know if you can see it or not but in here in that white you can almost see some blues and some purples and when you add that to this black card it makes all different kinds of looks and oh, I so that's ahead. a black card that you put the, this is the, you black put the opal card. polish on. yep and I put opal polish all over. This is a really light swipe, so you get lighter purples and a little bit of pinks, and you can kind of see down here the darker purple is your black shining through. This, if you want to not have it look that way, but it almost has a wood wash effect, mm. I did it twice. I ran it up and down, um, and then I let it dry, and then I put one little light layer over the top. This is a good point to remind those who might not have been watching when we were talking about the opal polishes, Margie, and the bl um, the blaze and the gilding polishes. Mm -hmm. um, what we learned from um, creative expre uh, impress expressions, I have an impressions and expressions, creative expressions about misting those before we put them away and adding water. Will you go through that just briefly or okay. unless you want sure. me to? No, I can do that. So when you are done and you've used your polish, um, you can, and like I said, this is still dirty. I haven't even cleaned it yet. Okay. So with this, uh, you want to go through and you want to wash out your sponge while it's still damp. Um, as much as possible, unless you're me and I forgot to do it. Um, and then you just take a light spritz with your bottle. Eesh, don't want to stray it on anything else. Can, I'm not sure if you can see oh, that or we not. Still see okay, it. perfect. So you just do a little, just light, just ever light, and that water will sit and absorb right in, and so then you never have to worry about it drying out, which was great because I didn't know that and I had to try and mix water back into one and it took forever, but it does reconstitute. Yes, that's the other thing that I learned is that I thought that once they dried, they were dead. Yeah. And they said to me, no, it's never dead. You add water, you let it sit. You add water, you let it sit. You add water, you let it sit until it gets back to the consistency that you want, but just add a little bit at a time 
to reconstitute it back to the right condition, but you yeah. don't lose your material in those pots. And if it does appear to be dry, don't throw it away. Yeah. And um, the glitter kiss does not necessarily work that way, I yeah. found. So this um, is the this polishes. This is just with the polishes, the metallics, the opals, the... Blaze. Um, yeah. Yeah, so I think that that's all of them. Um, since they are water-based, they do accept it right back. So on this one, I made a shaker card out of it. You can sort of kind of see it go up and down. There you go. So with this, um, I put on an acetate. I believe that this was, I tried to find things that everyone would kind of have at at home as well some extras you may not have this exact dazzle sticker but it's pinks and it looks really pretty but at the same time you might have something else that is that you can just add with uh here's another example this one is from the sticker king um and i put that on this section of the stripe uh and you could even fill it in with your Nouveau drops in order to give it a little bit more color in this area. So there's lots of different ways that you can approach some of these. This is the backing paper um, from the actual paper pad. And then I used my acetate in my frame. And then I just added these little Nouveau, they're called Rose Shell Blossoms. And they're just so sweet. They look like little flowers. Don't know if you can catch that or not. It really isn't circular. Everything has a little edge around it. So you can absolutely tell that it's a circle. Um, and so this acetate, by having that silver up here, it actually gives it. So don't worry about just using your acetate your plain acetate, try and see how you want it to fit it in. Because a lot of times I'm like, what am I going to do with this extra piece of acetate? It's almost all clear and I've only got a little tiny bit here left and great, it filled right in here perfectly for me. Um, and then on the back, I added more backing paper um, and it says, promise me you'll always remember you're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem and smarter than you think. And that's part of the same little jar that's on the front. And you absolutely could come back in and do Nouveau with it as well, but I just had done each one so that you could see different ways on how to approach these. Um, and it looks so rich and so pretty. Um, so if you haven't figured this out about me by now, there's the other one. I use every little piece that I possibly can. So these are exactly the size of a gift card. I just literally put a gift card inside one and then I cut just a little bit larger than what it is. So you can put in these your little gifts with these really pretty little pieces of tags that were left mm -hmm. over. They're little tiny ones that came on the topper uh, piece. And I was like, I don't want to throw those away. I don't know what to do. So I went through and I thought, well, maybe I can get really fancy with the um, with this one and try and get all the frames on it at once, but it was too much. So then I had to rethink. So I just used a little bit of the backing paper for this one. And inside it says, congrats, you deserve a treat. And I thought, wouldn't that be fun to have like a little gift card for, uh, going and getting a dessert or a gift certificate for going and picking up a cake or a cupcake or whatever you want to do with one of these. Um, this one, I used my backing paper. I butted them back to back. Uh, let me see if I can. <laughs> Sorry, bear with me. I meant to have one out It's part of the jars. Here we go. Right here, I had a little bit of this left over. And so I took it and I went back to back. So I literally cut and filled one side. As you can see right here, I filled there. 
Does that help? Not sure. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit closer. Um, so I put it right there and then I came back and I had that little bit extra left. And so I just flipped it around to the other side. So now I've got a great stripe that looks like ribbon right behind my little um, picture. Uh, I love the fact that they put this silver in everywhere inside the actual picture. Mm -hmm. So it kind of shines and it's a little tiny thing. I should probably get a little bit closer. So I love how it shines and looks so pretty. And in those, I actually, a few of these, I put in little rhinestones. And then on the inside, this says just for you. So you don't have to keep it with just a treat, but it might just be something special for someone that you're thinking of. Um, I meant to open this one because I totally forgot. Um, this one, I used some of that backing paper from the Peony Promise, so it's thin. And then I took that extra piece of acetate and put it right in there, right over the top with a little, and then it kind of gave it a 3D dimension because this side is loose. Mm -hmm. I can open it and lift it, but it gives it to where this pops without actually using a foamy. Mm -hmm. And it says, never give up on your dreams. So those are the ones that I have from the topper set. And then I am going to give myself a little bit of a challenge. And I am going to try and make sure that I can do this stamp and use this stamp in various different ways. So um, this week is alcohol inks. Um, and I want to point out that the flat line, the little black liner that you guys got in your water kit worked great because as you can see right here, um, the stamp just kind of cuts off right here. There's no line down here. So I was able just to go through and I used that liner just to create the rest of this petal. Huh. So then that way you didn't lose out. I mean, that's such a pretty petal. You don't want to lose it. And I didn't want to have to push it down to the bottom because then it would still hang out and not look quite right. So that's how I handled this one. Um, I put a little bit of the Nuvo Glimmer on it um, to give it a little bit of brightness after the alcohol ink had dried. Um, and then I put little rhinestones in its darker little petal sections. And then these are from our Heartfelt Creations um, classic ribbon, uh, classic rose pieces. And with that, just to give it again, a little bit more dimension on the leaves, I put a little bit of the Nuvo crystal drops on it. This is from the same little book of promises. It came right off of one of these. It says, thinking of you, I promise to never let you feel alone. Mm -hmm. Isn't that sweet? And it's just so pretty. And the alcohol inks, and I, we haven't really done any alcohol inks yet. Um, yet. So, but I will talk to you just about how you can try and do this on your own. Play with it a little bit. If you have some alcohol um, markers and you've just not played with them because you're not sure what to do, um, this is a perfect uh, stamp in order to do that. So you just literally go through and use your pink fresh because uh, that will hold with the alcohol ink. and. Um, you go through and you start with the darkest color first and you put it in your darker little sections is how I did this one. And then find complementary other pinks. So uh, Prism has, uh, the Hunky Dory Prism alcohol markers have uh, sets that have various different colors and different depths. Um, so you will get like three pinks and a couple of reds and a couple of browns. Um, so you can just go through and put these all in the little spots. And I literally just made kind of heavy lines, just a little bit of heavy line in there. And um, each of these places. And then I moved out from there. But you would never know because the alcohol ink blends. And while this looked really like I just drew a line right here, and it looked really not so great. I went, oh, am I, did I forget how to do these? No, I didn't forget how to do them. You just have to have a little bit of patience. So when you do your alcohol inks, um, 
when you bring in the next color, it will actually lighten and blend the darker color into the lighter color. And then I took some of the mediums and I kind of put it here around the edges, um, right over the tops of the darker colored pieces. And it, again, just kind of blends it. Same thing with the light. Um, so I have three different colors of pink in here. And by blending those all together, and then I went through again, and some of these areas that are lighter along the edges, it is because I went through with a blender pen, and it actually will lighten up and pull some of your color out. So it just um, makes the whole thing blend a little bit better. So that is how I did that one. And I know for some of you, the alcohol ink is not something that we've covered, but this is our first one, and this is... Um, alcohol ink markers with our little promises inside. Um, and next week, I think I'm going to do some um, Nouveau purple. Uh, it's a light color purple embossing powder. And so I thought that could be a lot of fun. Let's see what we can come up with next week. So I'm going to try and see if I can do these each week, but I'm not sure that I can always promise that. But if you start with the kit, I promise you that we will go through the entire luxury kit. If you were to buy one or two of these, um, we can still make it and you can still make it work uh, in lots of different ways. So you don't have to get this backing paper. It helps, but you don't have to. I'm sure that there are people that are that have some extra colors and papers from some of their stacks that you could use as backing papers like this side. It's just little um, black, uh, blue and purplish blue dots with white little dots on it. Um, so this one has a little bit of a oops, fence look to it. Nope, wrong one. Um, so you've got some pinks and you've got all these different blues. And then we've got the flowers. I encourage you to give it a give it a try. If you haven't purchased any of the hunky dory um, paper pads, they really uh, will allow you to do a lot with them. And just this and this, you could totally make cards with just these two items, um, and you could get a lot out of them. So out of one topper set, I was able to get uh, one, two, three, four, five five bigger items, and then the two little ones. Um, and then of course, our stamp ones. By the time we're done, we'll have four of these. Um, so good. I think that that is it. Is there any other questions? I tried to make sure that I brought all the items with me. So that's the Paper Mania Scallop. Um, here's the Dazzle Pinks. And now I have to give Debbie all of these numbers and links. Yes, so, you do. Um, I was just thinking, holy cow, you used a lot of stuff. I'll be up till dawn getting the newsletter done. <laughs> um, so this is where some of the silver came through. Um, these are a little where I got my happy birthdays from. They're a perfect size for it to be so simple. And... Um, here's our paper accent accordion card. That was cool. Nice. So, okay. So, any, and then these are our gems that we had from Hunky Dory. Any questions or anything that you would like to know that I didn't go over? Oh, and our deals. <laughs> and we have deals now in craft style as well, right? Uh, yes. So. Yeah, the 50 packs. Yep. Yeah. So this is 10 from Hunky Dory. I would encourage you to get the 50 pack. But at the time, we didn't have any. <laughs> yeah, our craft style shipment just came in, and it, too, is waiting to be resolved. Wrap it up. Okay. Okay. So it sounds like everybody hopefully had fun with all these goodies and there are tons out there. Um, I'm literally going through, hmm, what can I buy this week? What can I buy next week? Uh, <laughs> yeah. So anyways, um, I know that I know that we have lots of different items and different things that we gave you as options, but this is just, hey, a lot of people don't get to play. So if you, but, um, and you kind of, I stick within a budget. 
Um, and so for me, I get to play a little bit more because of the way that um, the way that Debbie has been so gracious in letting me come in and, and work with her. So um, I'm thankful for that. And we're thankful for you, Margie. So, anyways, thank you so much. And I believe I'm supposed to say good night, Gracie. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good night, Gracie. Good night, Gracie. <laughs> This one and this one belong to you. I need to put 